How's it going, everyone? This is GWR Studios, and today we are going to be finding some more goofs in Thomas and Friends. Today's episode is Toby the Tram Engine. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so at the beginning of the episode, we see an engine named Toby, and we also see the first goof. If we look in the top left corner, we can see some studio equipment. Toby is a tram engine that works on a little railway. He has cow catchers and side plates all around him in order to prevent accidents. Because of this, Toby doesn't look like a normal steam engine, but that doesn't bother him. He's just happy to work on his railway. Now Toby has one coach. Her name is Henrietta. Toby used to haul a lot of passengers with Henrietta, and he also pulled a lot of freight cars full of cargo. But sadly, the passengers nowadays ride by bus, and the companies send their cargo with cars and trucks. But unlike cars and trucks, which often have accidents, Toby hasn't had an accident in years. But the buses are crowded, and Henrietta is empty. One day, Toby was pulling his train when he saw a heavier set man. The man was, of course, Sir Topham Hatt, but Toby didn't know this yet. And here comes the next goof. If we look at Sir Topham Hatt's feet, we can see Sticky Tack. As it turned out, Sir Topham Hatt was on vacation with his wife and two grandchildren. Come on, Grandfather. Do look at this engine. Sir Topham Hatt's grandchildren had never seen a tram engine before. That's a tram engine, Stephen. Sir Topham Hatt told his grandchildren that Toby was a tram engine, but they still didn't understand. Is it electric? Ooh. Shh said her brother. You've offended him. Sir Topham Hatt's granddaughter thought that Toby was electric. And here's where I saw the next goof. If you look at the screen closely, you'll notice that it never stays still. It's always moving. Either that or Sir Topham Hatt is triggered too. They are mostly, but this is a steam tram. Sir Topham Hatt's grandchildren want to ride Toby. May we go in it, grandfather, please? Look at all the holes in Sir Topham Hatt. Stop! Sir Topham Hatt stopped the conductor, and then he, his wife, and grandchildren all rode Toby. Henrietta was very happy to have passengers again, but Toby was still upset. Electric indeed! Electric indeed! Toby was proud to be a steam train, and he couldn't believe he was called an electric. What is your name? After the ride, Sir Topham Hatt asked Toby for his name. Toby, sir. Sir Topham Hatt thanked Toby for the ride, and this made Toby feel better. The reason Toby liked Sir Topham Hatt so well was because he knew how to speak to engines. Every day for two weeks, Sir Topham Hatt's family rode Toby. Sometimes they rode with the guard, and sometimes they rode in the empty trucks. But on the last day, they rode in Toby's cab. When it was time for Sir Topham Hatt's family to leave, Toby was very sad. And Sir Topham Hatt and his family thanked everyone. And here's where I found the next goof. When Toby's bell rings, it appears to be silver in color. But when Toby passes by, we see that he has a gold bell. <laughs> Toby tells Sir Topham Hatt's family to come again soon. And they waved till Toby was out of sight. After two months, Toby had hardly any passengers and hardly any trucks. Things were not looking good for his railway. Finally, Toby's driver told him the bad news. Our last day, Toby. The manager says we must close tomorrow. This makes Toby very sad. Since it was Toby's last day, everybody wanted one last ride. Toby was glad that he got to pull passengers one last time, but he was still sad his railway was closing. And here's where I found the last goof. When Toby's at the station, we can see that his cow catcher is crooked. Goodbye, Toby. We're sorry your line is closing down. Toby is sorry, too, and he puffed slowly away. Nobody wants me. That night, Toby was sent to his shed. His railway was no more. The next morning, Toby's shed was flung open. His driver was waving a piece of paper in the air. The mail has just arrived, and there is a letter for us from the stout gentleman. And this marks the end of the episode. All right, you guys, so those were all the goofs that I found in Toby and the Stout Gentleman. I have never had an episode with this little of goofs, but if you saw a goof that I didn't point out, leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.